Good morning, Mr. Watson. What we're going to do today is we're going to build an 8-bit adder circuit, and we're going to use the Circuit Lab website to do it. So how you do that? Okay, make sure you get today's quiz done. Okay, you want to log into Canvas, is that in, uh, then look for this thing here. It says click here, click there. Here's what the website looks like when you come up to it. Choose the Launch Circuit Lab button. Okay. Next thing you're going to get is that this is what the website looks like, except for it's going to have all this stuff in the middle. Use the mouse, select it all, and just delete it. Next thing you got to do is locate this. This is the 8 bit adder. The, uh, the base of this, it says so on the left side, search for 8 bit. The thing you're going to choose is right here. It's the second thing in the, in the list. And just bring that in, drag it, and set it in place. Next thing you got to find is eight digital probes. So they're under where it says probes and meters. That's the thing on the far right. They have a question mark in it. So drag in eight of those. Next thing you need to do is one at a time, highlight, click on those probes, and right mouse button, choose rotate clockwise. Once you have them rotated, like showing here on the left side of this slide, you want to connect you want to take the mouse and connect from point, click from point to point to connect them up like it shows on the right side of the slide. You, go, you can tell you have them cooked, connected up because the uh, they're going to suddenly show a zero in them. Next thing, this is probably the longest part of this lab. Going to bring eight single pole, single throw SPST switches in, and then drag them all in one at a time. Click on them, right click on them, rotate them, and you want to drag them over. So four of them are over by B0 by to B3 along the top of the adder. The other four are over by A0 to A3 on the top of the adder. Next thing you want to do is drag in a battery and a ground, which are they're shown right here. Battery is toward the lower right. The ground is the absolute top upper left. Once you got all this stuff in, connect it all up like shown here. The, uh, and you'll notice the bottom is no longer all zeros. All right. So what you got to do next is one at, a time, one at a time, click on those switches, double click on them, and you get this option where it says open or close. Close them and see what happens with the output. You already have the, um, all, you start with them all open, so you can write that down. And close and see how it changes. And then you can check out with the A0 to A3 closed and B0 to B3 open and the other way around. And that's essentially how you get this lab done today. Yeah, make sure you report on it in Canvas. That's all. Have a great day.